so first of all i go through this link learn.microsoft.com certification exams dp300 then i go through how you know what kind of topics they cover so whenever i am preparing for any certification exam i always go through this site and there i go through the videos also uh, if you see from here you can uh, you know a tutorial exam and official practice test i always say in my videos that i always go through official practice test never ever skip this part because most of the questions come from these official practice test after that this is the syllabus so for example if plan and implement data platform resources are around 20 to 25 person that means it is covering around 10 to 20 questions the same with monitor configure and optimize database and plan and configure high availability and disaster recovery also if this is the person like 50 to 20 percent they are covering implement a secure environment and configure and manage on automation of task these two topic they are covering around 50 to 20 percent so there are two ways or to prepare this exam one is online free and second is instructor lead paid so i always go through online free i never attempt this paid service but if you want to you can do the same but i always go through online free uh, way of preparation here i then i start uh, from the first topic in which they give like introduction to azure database uh, admin and from there they not only they give the explanation okay but also if if you uh, click on this start button it will give you the uh, introduction of this topic okay from there you can continue and there are the you know they also give you points like 100 xp it is it is totally depend on how you completing your this tutorial after that you just need to click on the continue continue and each and every thing is completely in detail matter on these web pages as how first of all you need to understand sql server in azure virtual machine then version of sql server available on and how backup solutions, deployment, options, overview of Azure store, high availability in Azure. After that, there is the second topic is plan time implement. Because this is a kind of admin uh, type of role, so you must know how you can plan and implement data platform resources and just click on the either mm -hmm. on this or either on this. These are the module like how you can deploy I solution with Azure SQL and from there you can start and it will give you the overview, introduction and learning objective, explain I's options to deploy a SQL server in Azure. So why I am going to recover this because I'm going to recover this topic because what's happening now if you are going to uh, take any exam and you have free session free videos then you don't need to go anywhere so I always go one by one on each topic and I learn like how I can automate a database task for Azure SQL very important topic and disaster recovery environment also how you can optimize query performance in azure sql how you are going to monitor and secure an environment implementation for a database service so when i when i go through these uh, you know uh, this is a kind of my journey to certification and from here if once you are going to take these uh, certification, if you click on this certification poster, there you can get each and everything about your certificate. Either you are failing or passing and then there is the dashboard. From there you can download your certification and also you can go 
through this training and certification guide so this is a kind of guide where they just explaining how microsoft azure training certification works okay so i can show you this implement a secure environment for your database service so from here you can learn configure database authentication and uh, authorization and uh, there is also a uh, exercise involved and after that there are some few questions that is uh, you know just to check up your knowledge so each and every topic have the same pattern and query optimization also okay and uh, uh, if you are from database background that you must know how we can describe views functions or how, how we can see the query plans and how we are identify problematic query plan then there is the blocking locking or how you are going to identify and resolve blocking issues in plan and implement high availability disaster recovery environment there is kind of some strategy they are mentioning how you are going to from where you are going to recovery point and explore ice high availability so these are few things that i always do whenever i am going to give any exam and yes automation is a must how we can automate deployment by using powershell I have gone through this topic and after that I gave this exam and also in my other videos I am going to share dumb questions. I also do the same. I hope this will help you to crack this exam. So I am ending this video and if you have any question please comment in the section below and please like subscribe my channel so that I can create these, these kind of videos. Thank you so much for your encouragement and for your time.